Jana, uh, we had a meeting with this guy called Elias Njero Mutugi and uh, the meeting was smooth. That meeting was scheduled on, was communicated on Wednesday. We were to meet yesterday at 5.30 in the evening at Abs Milliman. We met and the conversation was smooth and uh, it was out of business related issues and other issues uh, that were a bit personal so later on we came to an agreement and i proceeded home we decided to be left there for some refreshment uh, he followed me home and when i was at the gate he came attacking me i tried to drive off and run away. Unfortunately, I kawanga gari yake nyuma. So akashuka akiniambia gari ya nani unagonga. So I had not locked. I had locked the I locked the door, but the window was open. So akazima gari na kuchukua fungo gari yenye nilikuwa nayo. He proceeded hitting me on the head using his his hands pulling me outside. So by the time I was was outside I found upon the scare and an katakata. So I tried to protect my myself with my hands and uh, I lost my my fingers, all of them in this hand. The remaining one are fractured. I'm scheduled for theater tomorrow in the morning. This other one also. He also telling Dunga pay a deep cut. Like in my right leg, I'll go on a Dunga, then a Rarua. A Dunga and a Rarua. So I ran away. There's a, a vacant plot. As I was running away, I couldn't because of my left leg. It was too painful. I fell down. So he went to the other leg. I have like three deep cuts, and the total cuts I got from the knife were 18. And at my back I have one, which was directed to my stomach, but we cut on. So at that time our security guy was around, he was trying to stop him, but he was threatening the security guy. But he helped me because I, I, I was screaming. You know, he was also screaming some there's a Buddha Buddha shed there. They came running. And I saw some women there that were covering my because I have a, I have a cut, two cuts on my head. So they were covering me up. He ran away. And he saw mob coming. And as he was cutting me, he was also threatening to kill my kid. So when he saw people coming, he ran away. The security guy took one of our neighbor's vehicles and he brought me here. Uh, by the time we were getting here, our neighbors were calling us, telling us the guy is back there. But they really protected my, my kids. And later on, he came here. He was at the gate. And he told the gate man that uh, his wife is here with the kid. So if he wanted to come in, but it was declined. They they called for some other forces, security. So the guy ran away. He, he went back again up there where I live. He later came today in the morning. Lucky enough, my friends were here. So they were able to tell him to leave. So he left. And he had been seen in my house two times today around there so um, I'm really trying to seek for justice and I really want my kids to be protected he has he has this is the first time to be physical but the threats have been there 
and out of not consenting to what he's saying, it led to all this. So I am a single mom, so I don't know how I raise my kids with whatever happened. So he should be brought forward, and I'll be the happiest woman. No, they were, they were, one, they were job related, because we have a company together that I might not mention, we are directors. So there were huge issues. Uh, other personal issues, where he was, I, I requested him to call it a quit, to let everything go. And uh, he also owes me some finances. I was also requesting for that money. So he explained. And he kind of agreed to what I requested. But it's, it was not yesterday's request. It has been there. My friends, they are away. I've tried to move out of that place. I've even gone an extra mile to pay an extra house. But by the day I'm moving out, the Rangland will not allow me because they'll communicate. And I'm told not to move with anything. Yet the house is mine, and everything that is in that house belongs to me and my kids. So it's something I've tried. I have an incident where I also did that. Possibly I left, and something else happened, though it wasn't physical, but it was so frustrating. So. It's all about himself and what he wants, and that is what he should do. So, that's all I had. I have a fracture on my thumb, on my left. Uh, the small finger, it's too small, it was cut, and it's remaining too small. These are the, the ring finger totally damaged. Uh, the doctor was saying he might pull up, pull out the upper part. These other two, they also have fractures. And uh, my legs also, right now I cannot stand without support, cannot walk. And uh, this one will really affect me because whatever has been explained that will happen in theater, I'll have plaster on both hands for one month, yet I'm the breadwinner. I'm a hard, very hard working woman for those people who know me and who have been coming here, they know me. So I can't work. I can't work well. So it's really heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking for me. Yes. My name is Gladys Kamuren, Chief Officer, Gender and Social Services, Nakuru County. Uh, this morning we got a distress call uh, through our line, our own our hotline, that uh, one lady, Florence Wanjiku, from Rongai constituency, was uh, attacked yesterday night by a known person to her, and. Uh, we rushed to save her, to see the situation. And uh, although she's, in, she's actually in good condition, not so bad, but uh, she's been hurt because she has uh, so many injuries in her body. And, uh, but she's in good condition. She's not actually very bad. So we just want to ask the public to be calm, be patient, and to report all cases of attempted murder or any kind because the cases of femicide are so much now in the country, especially even here in Nakuru, we get so many reported cases. So we want to ask for uh, people to be calm and uh, be sober, even amid stressful situations, so that they don't put themselves in more bad situations. Because now, going forward, 
the perpetrator is now not so safe and uh, is also facing a lot of challenges, even more than now the person he attacked. So I want to urge people to look for mechanisms of solving problems in a better way than attacking one another. Cheap EV cases are on the rise, especially in our county. Cheap cases of um, defilement and rape are also in the increase. And uh, we want to urge people to really come to their senses and handle things the way they are supposed to be. So we ask the government to continue protecting the, the victim, uh, especially the security personnel. And we want justice for Florence Wanjiku because there is no situation that warrants somebody to attack someone and even or take someone's life. Everything has to be sorted out by in a sober way rather than attacking another person, especially the weaker sex. So I want to request the, 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 the police department to provide security to the family and to the patient who is in op on the hospital at, uh, at the moment so that uh, we don't get more uh, injustices meted on her even when she's recovering in hospital. Yeah.